Good morning Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising. Take the bits that resonate, leave the rest, you know. Everybody's welcome to watch this video. Here we go, without further ado. Past, present, future. What's going on for you, my Capricorn friends? In the past, Eight of Pentacles, the <laughs> Six of Cups, Page of Wands. Mm -hmm. Now the Magician, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in the near future, Page of Swords, High Priestess, the World card, okay. Bottom of the deck is Temperance card. You could well be dealing with a Sagittarian, but that doesn't necessarily follow suit. I'm kind of getting in the past, there was kind of a lot of holding back. Okay, a lot of holding back. All right, there's you were dealing with somebody who fell in and out of love very easily. Okay, there was communication there, it was a bit spartan. You were doing a lot of work on yourself, all right, to bring in some changes. You were trying to come to terms with your past. All right, there could be a parental issue here going on. All right, but there was definitely somebody around you with a childlike energy. <laughs> they sort of only communicated as and when it felt they felt like it. Excuse me. Right, and they did want to work on it, but I'm picking up a change of mind here, a change of energy, because now we've got this kind of split definitive here, this split loyalties. All right, now your focus is not entirely on them. All right, because this person is breadcrumbing you. Okay, like I say, the only message you whenever they feel like, you've been trying to manifest something different. You do feel like you're not being told the whole story. You do feel like, you know, there's something else going on. You're trying to make the best of this situation, but I'm getting a lot of you uh, will walk away if you haven't already done. Detaching. All right, you're just tired. You've been showing an awful lot of a patience here. You know, there's, there is a case for one or two of you where you're waiting for this person to make up their mind, but you come into the conclusion, well, if they haven't done it by now, they're never going to do it. All right. I'm getting that you will disconnect from this because going forward, uh, there's communication coming in okay. And somebody here with a very, very strong opinion. All right. There's some hidden thoughts. All right. And there's communication coming in. And they're in no mood to talk about feelings. They want to keep certain things hidden from you. Okay. But it is a great opportunity for you to use your intuition. And if you need be, get closure on this once and for all. Okay. There is some compromising. Compromises need to take place. I must admit for a lot of you, this could go either way. All right, with this page of swords here, what... You know, whatever you're told on getting that you don't entirely believe, you're not taking it on face value. For one or two of you, there is a child or children involved here. Okay, we're two very, very different personalities. Your priorities are to the children on your side. Okay. You're doing what's best for them. I am even getting here the return of a father of a child and some kind of settlement, some kind of custody battle going on. All right, I'm kind of getting there will be a satisfactory, fair decision on that. You won't like everything that you hear, but it'll give you the basis, all right, to work with. You know, and walk away from this with what you can. All right.
you've certainly got a lot of determination, a lot of grit. You're in this for the long haul, that's for sure. Whatever decision you make now, I'm kind of getting you're going to keep going. But there's a lot of hidden thoughts here coming out, or will come out. Hmm. Let's get a Moonology card on this. This is an Oracle card. I'm doing these readings slightly different now. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Step out of your comfort zone. You know, adjustments are required. So this, this is a different lifestyle you're going into, okay? And it's kind of making a decision, all right, using your head. It's a head over heart decision, okay? And it does require you, you know, to step out of this lifestyle that you have been used to, all right? Let's see what the angels have to say about this reading. The universe is actually offering you a hidden gift, it's just you don't see it yet. One card please. No need to worry, you see you will get your success. It probably won't manifest how you think, but it will give you conclusions, okay, closure, and it will also bring in new opportunities. You know, and surprising communication coming in from a source you didn't think about. Okay, this could be on the work front as well. All right, but it's kind of, it will work out in a lot of ways in your favour, but not a hundred percent. You won't get everything you want. I just want to get your kind of energy on this. What's your energy? Yeah, you've been going around in circles with somebody, okay. It's always been coming back to the same old things, same old arguments. The past keep being being brought back. Okay, but like I say, the will of fortune, things are turning inside you, turning in your favour. Okay. There is a lot of peace and harmony. I'm kind of getting your view of this in a very, very different way. Let's see their energy. Yeah, they kind of want to communicate, heal things. But I am getting this, you know, dig deeper. Don't take everything on face value of what you're being told by this person, okay? You, you'll be fine on getting... There is new love here, all right? There is healing here. Your wish is being granted, as I say. The universe, if you're wondering whether you're making the right decision... You know, this is a yes, providing you're making it for the right reasons, okay? Not not just to get back at somebody or malice or whatever. I'm not picking up any malice here, actually. I'm picking up a lot of healing and you coming into a much better space. Thank you very much for watching.